My name is Ronnie Borden. I have been doing art, so to speak, for over 12 years now. I saw my first painting in 2008, uh, Tinkerbell's hometown, right here on this courthouse, and that started me on my long journey down the rabbit hole, which you can't get back from once you fall down into it, though. <laughs> is it's abstract well the it's things that i see in the art i don't actually have the image when i start i have some colors and i take the colors and i mix the colors and blend and pour the colors out and then the title comes out and when i see the title that's when the painting stops i had always kind of wanted to do art but being a responsible adult that I was, uh, 30 years working for the post office, raising kids, uh, you don't have time to do things like that. Someone that I met started painting like this, and I was painting some graphic painting, but I saw the way that that painting was going, and I saw the look on people's faces when they were looking at it. That person did not really want to try to sell their art, but I stayed with it, and then I sold a painting. After that, I sold another painting. After that, I moved up to Rhode Island. Rhode Island was very good to me. I was kind of the Texan in the Connecticut Yankee courtyard up there, so to speak. And so I still am selling art to this very day. Nobody expects to buy it, but it's a hypnotic thing. That's what the sign is up here about warning you so that if you buy one and your parents come down here to chew me out, I can go, oh, ma'am, I warned them. So it gets me off the hook, keeps me out of trouble. because we can feed off each other. That you, you have other artists and we have our vibes that we see and, and we're helping, you know, kind of each other out by being around us and understanding our insane desire to create art. But for some reason, it's, it's like a drug in a weird way. Somebody buys some of your art and you just wait to sell another piece again, another piece, and then, or you're a camel out in the desert and you drink some water, but in this case, somebody sold some art. Then you keep, you head off out in the desert and you don't know how long it's going to be before you drink again, but then people start to, they come and buy your art and you get a big drink and keep going. Because then it lets the, the community and the people have a chance to come out and see art and it art is this uplifting thing for people and they have this look on their face and they go, oh, I've got some art and, and the whole we'll call it the artsy fartsy thing, makes the whole little, everybody be in a good mood. People need to get out of their house, especially this, what's been going on recently. Look, art makes people feel good. You buy some art because it's making you feel good. It's a drug, you know, come to an art show instead of doing drugs. What kind of, there you have it. <laughs>